Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how envy can be used for good. So just before I start this video, I'd like to thank all my current subscribers and please feel free to subscribe as I'm really trying to hit 500 subscribers. But anyway, let's talk about envy and jealousy. Well, I think everyone has a jealous bone in their body. Even if you tell yourself that you're not jealous of anything, there is something that you want from someone else that you don't currently have. And this is very natural. However, some people have more envy in them than others, and therefore they are so jealous of other people. And I'm going to tell you in this video how you can use jealousy and envy for the good, instead of bottling it up and becoming green like the Incredible Hulk and having a very terrible time in life. So jealousy and envy, from the time we can remember how to think and how to speak, we've always wanted something that someone else has had. Whether it's someone who has very good looks, someone who's very smart, someone who's very athletic, or someone who is just downright very cool. We've always wanted to have some aspects of that person, or we even sometimes we wanted to just become that person. And this is very normal for many reasons, and the main reason is the fact that we only see the surface of other people, and we see the things that we want to see from them, and we're not seeing the internal struggles of that person. So for example, let's take attraction. There are a lot of people who are very attractive that are doing very well in many industries such as acting, modeling, and now the Instagram field. They are very attractive people and then we might think that the door opens for these people. They can do so many things just because they're attractive. And it's very natural to feel jealous towards these people and want their looks because you think that if you had the looks yourself, you would do really well because maybe you're very smart but you don't have the looks and therefore you're adding two components of different things together as in you already have the smarts and you just want something else from someone else however the world doesn't work like that because you have to work for your smarts as in you have to go through your education system you have to do all these things while someone else who you see is a bodybuilder maybe they didn't go down the same route essentially what you're trying to do in your head is create a character which is yourself from maybe you're 70% complete and someone else is 70% complete, but that adds up to 140%. That's more than the person you could ever be, is yourself already and someone else. So that's where the big struggle comes in with jealousy. You're looking at someone who is a complete human and you're trying to add that element of them that makes them successful to the element of you, which is already pretty much your 70% complete human being anyway. Of course this is going to cause so many emotions and problems in your life when you're green with jealousy and envy and you just want that one thing that someone else has. And I want friends like that guy and I want eyebrows like that girl and I want his popularity and money. I want her bravery and intelligence and happiness. This is why it's not useful to have jealousy in you because you're wanting something from someone but that thing alone will not make you happy because you are lacking other things because you're only looking at the surface of the person. Now I'm not to say that people who are attractive are not smart, people who are bodybuilders are not good at other things, I'm not trying to say that at all. I'm saying, as I always say, we have a finite amount of time on this world and we can only put it towards one thing. So if you want to become the smartest person in the world, you have to make compromises. You might have to make compromises on your schedule for lifting weights or running, cardio, something like that. So you might not actually become the most attractive person in the world. However, we've all seen these people who are smart, attractive, blah, blah, blah. But that's just because they have that drive, that motivation and those skills that allows them to maintain more than one balance. They can juggle many things at the same time. And that is what you should be jealous of. The fact that they have that perseverance, that motivation and that willingness to keep going. Now let's just backtrack a little bit and talk about attractiveness. Now this video was actually inspired by a YouTuber that I watch called Lana Blakely where she was talking about jealousy and it really opened my eyes and I thought this is a very important thing that many people aren't talking about is that jealousy and envy and that it's very natural for everyone to have this. So the thing about attractiveness is it's very subjective. I mean you can go back a hundred years where attractiveness then is completely different from what is attractive now. So like they say beauty is an Beauty is, in, be, beauty is in the eye of the beholder and therefore very subjective. However, if we just focus on current beauty standards at the moment, which is like a toned body, muscular frame, like jawline, stuff like that, there's only a certain amount of people that can actually hit these attributes to qualify for attractive. And there's a problem because not everyone can be attractive and if everyone was attractive, then it wouldn't be special and then 
this thing, this, what we're talking about, is applies to everything. There's only a certain amount of people that can fit certain roles, and therefore being jealous about something is just not productive, it's not going to help you. But now we're going to be talking about how jealousy can actually be used productively, and how you can use jealousy and envy to actually increase or grow yourself. So using jealousy and envy as a self-growth. Let's take attraction, the hardest one in my opinion for example, because Technically not everyone can be attractive, that's literally the whole point. Exclusivity breeds all desires, in my opinion. If it wasn't exclusive, it wouldn't be desirable. So let's just take attraction for example. Whether you're a guy or a girl, attracted to whatever you are attracted to, there is something that you are attracted to. There is a certain look that you're attracted to and maybe you feel like you should look more like that in order to attract people like that. There's only a certain amount of things that you can do to increase your attractivity. One thing could be to maybe lose weight, maybe to gain weight, but these are very petty things. Like, you shouldn't focus on attractiveness because it doesn't really get you anywhere. At the end of the day, you can be the most attractive person who had the most opportunities for being attractive, but you've lived a dissatisfying life. So it really depends on the values you have as a person, what you, legacy you want to leave behind. Do you really want to be known for being attractive only? Well, I think most people, even models, supermodels, they don't want to be known for that thing. So they may use their advantages. They have, everyone has unfair advantages and they might be their dashing looks. I mean, everyone is attracted to something. So, but they use this as a platform to open doors and for personal development. So that's attractiveness out of the way because attractiveness is, in my opinion, something that you can't really achieve. Of course you can get plastic surgery and stuff but attractiveness is in the inside and the outside so that's a topic for another channel and another video so let's say we're very envious of someone who has done very well in their lives and of course doing very well is also very subjective i think this is something that is easier to gain easier to achieve as my channel is focused on education and i believe that education is very easy to achieve and it should be given everywhere so someone now, so now we're talking about someone who we're jealous towards because they are doing very well, because they are considered smart. They, let's just say they are a doctor, and of course medical school is very difficult to get into, so let's just say they're a doctor or a lawyer, someone just doing very well, they get paid a lot of money. So we're looking at this person, he or she, and we're just feeling a lot of jealousy, a lot of hate maybe towards them, which is really bad, because they've done so well, and we have not done so well because we had focused our efforts on something else. Maybe we focused our efforts on being very sporty and athletic and trying to attract males or females and therefore we feel like we should have had that opportunity, we should have been a doctor, we... yeah. So th there's two ways you can go down this route is you can be jealous and you can feel bad inside and you can start hating yourself and start hating the other person and as we know now, as we all know, negative emotions aren't very good for us, they're not productive they put us down and they limit us. Remember, emotions limit us, mentality limits us. So why would we want to be in this box? Well, you can use jealousy in the opposite way. It's never too late to start to develop yourself. Even if you're 70, let's just go with that number. Even if you're 70 and you've just realized, you've come to the realization that you are jealous of someone who is in their 20s and they're a doctor, what can you do to now use this jealousy and envy? Because we know jealousy, envy, hatred, they're all very strong, strong emotions and they can be used to our advantage. So what you can do is you can learn from these people. They are a good lesson. They're, they are a human participant in the experiment that is life, showing that it is possible to become successful. It is possible to become a doctor by going through medical school, by persevering through many adversities. And instead of feeling jealous for themselves, we can take these lessons as they come and motivate us, give us the courage to have drive to achieve those goals or similar goals. Maybe if you're already 70, then entering medical school or lawyer school, <laughs> if there's such a thing, is not probably the most easiest thing to do at that time, circumstances and stuff like that. But there's always time to, you know, maybe if you're 70 years old, start a Twitter account and put yourself out there, start a YouTube channel and gain a following or something along those lines and of course instead of being jealous and being cornered by your green envy incredible hulk you can use this because every bad thing is a good lesson i've just made that up i think it sounds pretty cool but that's what it is so jealousy and envy is a very natural occurrence it's very natural emotions we all feel it but there is a way to feel it less or 
make it into a positive and therefore then you won't see jealousy and envy as a positive or negative. I have never been such a jealous person. I just feel like if someone has something that I want, I'm going to walk towards getting that for myself. An analogy that I'm going to give to you is if something comes easy to you, then you kind of no longer want it if you don't go through the struggles of getting it. So journey before destination kind of thing. An example that I always had is playing GTA is if you work hard for the missions and you earn the thing, the car or whatever it is, the journey and the struggles that you went through to go through the missions is actually the rewarding part, not the actual car that you drive for maybe two minutes. However, conversely, if you just get the car, if you just steal the car or if you use cheats, then it just defeats the whole purpose. The whole game crumbles apart and the game of life crumbles apart if you get something that you really, really want. A part of living really happily is to understand that the thing that you really, really, really want is this thing that you actually, when you get it, it's just not satisfying. It really, really is the journey. So next time you're feeling jealous or envious, just remember that you are a person. They are a person. They have flaws as well. You don't want to adopt all those flaws on top of all the flaws you have in the same way as you don't want all their good stuff on top of your good stuff because some of your good stuff might be better than their good stuff. I hope that made sense a lot. I just want to reiterate that jealousy and envy is a good emotion because it gives feedback. So feedback loops in human beings are always very important. You see something that you want and you have to work towards achieving that thing that you want. And maybe in time you will no longer want that thing, but it's okay because now you know that you don't want that thing. So next time you're thinking of getting plastic surgery to look like someone, <laughs> think again. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please press like. Uh, follow me on Instagram because I reply to every single message that I receive. Feel free to subscribe, comment down below on what you think about jealousy because I think jealousy is something that plagues a lot of people but it can be used for the good stuff as well. And as always, thank you for watching.